Antelope, California, and we are going to just check out a really beautiful home for a really lovely family, uh, determine what's going on. Um, there has been some reported activity, but they want to know, is it them? Is it the house? Is it nothing? What are they feeling? And just get a little validation. It's really about resolution and validation today for this um, really special family. And so we're gonna just dig in, check a few things out, and most of all, find some good resolutions for them okay. and to make sure that they can feel at peace and safe in their home. Um, that is not a disembodied voice. That, that is a cute little kiddo <laughs> that also apparently does sense and notice things, talks okay. to areas in the home, uh, things that really nobody else is seeing. So could be a curious little kid just kind of doing children babbling stuff. Or maybe they're just talking to a deceased relative that is coming to say hello. Uh, we'd like to just validate that and make sure that everything is um, calm and happy here. So we're going to wander around and right. see what we get. Right off the cuff, do you feel anything? Um, I keep feeling somebody up the stairs. I keep seeing the stairs. The stairs are okay. making me drawn. Like I almost see um, kind of a petite older lady just puttering up the stairs, short, like 5'2", mm -hmm. like she's small and um, probably close to 80 years of age. I don't feel any harm from her at all. She just seems to be protecting the space. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if she came with the space or came with the land or she came with them. I'm not really sure yet. Yep. She's really not even talking to me or engaging me at all. She's just this cute little gal that seems to be and maybe I might be able to chase her down a little bit and see if I can get a little bit out of her. And that's about the only spirit I feel right now. Okay. Um, doesn't mean that I won't encounter somebody else kind of during the walk a little bit. Um, there might be there might be surprises. I just don't want there to be any negative surprises. Um, yeah. So far, I don't feel anything dark. Good. But, you know, sometimes they hide. So um, what I'm hoping is it's just regular type of, you know, human um, spirits, sure. that family spirits. Um, I do almost feel the slightest bit of psychokinetic energy in the space. Um, so coming from a living agent, but, but it's not very potent. It seems like just a little bit of PK activity, but, but very mild, very mild, okay. very, very subdued. So we'll uh, figure this out. You know, they show me like random things. And this lady seems a little taller. This lady seems um, five, 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 seven range. Um, and a little bit of booty. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. So I'm not sure who she is, but I don't like any women here. Yeah, well, we'll chase them all out. Okay. <laughs> well, if they're family or protectors, that's the problem. Yeah, is I that I can't really, I can't really remove angelic protection, but we can make sure that they don't bother you. Or we can, we can tell them to, to mind yeah, their own beeswax. Yeah, to mind their own business. Because <laughs> the, the the shorter one seems to be like she wants to tuck all the people in. Like she's like a. She's trying to tuck everybody in and be really loving and really tender. Well, I um, feel like I've always been a um, person who's been um, intuitive, mm -hmm. um, per se. Oh, okay. and I've always been like that with my kids. Um, yeah. As far as being able to feel things when they're not around, mm -hmm. uh, being able to tell that what's wrong with them as far as sick-wise, because I feel it, I actually feel it. So that, and that, there's where our PK energy is coming from. I'm kind of afraid <laughs> that... Um, Maybe that's what I was hearing in 09, was oh. this woman walking up and down the stairs because I, I kept filling it in my okay. kids' bedrooms. And, and so kept, she's like go, trying to go in all the rooms. Right. And, and I'm freaking out going in every bedroom looking in all the closets because oh. I heard someone walking down the hallway. Right. Okay. So that actually validates what I felt yeah. in the claim then, the, the walking around and up there right. and so going into all the rooms. So that actually validates kind of what I felt. So what, yeah. what we'll try to do is negotiate, just make sure they understand you guys have this contained. She ain't come with us then. Um, <laughs> so yeah. she needs to go. <laughs> yeah, if, if, if she, yeah, if she right. just wants to kind of, you know, she I got this. She, yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah, she doesn't need to be on duty and she doesn't need to be doing anything. We'll just bless the space and any spirits that don't belong with you guys, we'll ask them to go off and back into the light and, and just be at we'll peace. We'll move them on, yeah. Yeah. We, we can make sure that they want to be at peace and stay at peace and, and don't bother you guys. And definitely don't do anything that makes any kind of sounds that would be disturbing or upsetting. Yeah. That, I think we can, we can negotiate that with the other side. We can make sure they know that you, you guys don't need um, anything from them. Um, there's a, 
Yeah, there's all there's all, so, somebody's brothers wandering around the house. Okay. I'm I'm a brother. I'm a brother. I'll deal with him later. All right. Just hold on. Go to wander around the, yeah, the we'll, downstairs we'll first. Yeah, we'll wander around the downstairs and we'll go up and look up there. In bit. in the kitchen, um, we felt very boxed in and um, rather uncomfortable, and that is something that the client verified that they don't feel really great about the kitchen. Um, it just isn't quite comfortable. Yeah. There was a little guest house out in the back, and um, the first word that I heard in that space was betrayal. And so that um, that also was validated as an accurate emotion that would um, make sense to who occupies that space, okay. um, something that happened to them. So um, I think that we should probably wander around upstairs and definitely feeling like um, the lady of the house has some intuitive sensors and that can add to um, whether or not um, the energy in the space will stay balanced. Um, when, we, when we're when we gifted, psychokinetic energy can um, be a factor in um, the energy of a space. But I don't feel like there's anything, there's there's no poltergeist activity. There's no... That's a good thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. There's no, there's, the PK activity has not become that. Um, I also asked um, if they had felt touched and um, we did get a validation that that is one of the claims. And um, we, we don't know the details of it yet, but I kind of want to explore. I feel some of the activity would be in the kitchen, but I also feel some of it is upstairs. Okay. I feel there's a, a combo deal going on. So we're in one of the bedrooms and I feel very held down and I feel like the old hag syndrome and I feel my chest is very heavy. I feel um, grabbed, I feel intense pressure. My body feels a lot of pressure on it. Um, we went to the bathroom and then there's the uh, closet and it just felt creepy in there. Yeah. It just that felt heavy, 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 heavy energy, and creepy. Yeah. And so again, not like a not like a a sentient entity, but it's just it's really heavy and it's like like my chest is just it hurts so bad and like it's almost burning. Very, I, I don't know how to even quantify it. It's just it's not the whole energy in this in this space is different than other parts of the house so far so um what with some limited validation you can obviously validate as we go yeah ha, does any of that make sense to you it does i um okay. recently found out that i actually um i've never been a smoker or anything mm -hmm. and that i am um have a deadly thing with my lungs oh, and geez. i've been having a lot of hard time breathing oh wow and um so it's uh it's called alpha one deficiency and so that's one big thing that um and then um so that would explain that this horrible the, pain and, yeah yeah okay and so it's giving me a hard time getting things done around the house mm -hmm. and things like that and then um the the breakdown did happen essentially comp at the end that the last the last straw was in here I was gonna ask that question. Yeah, because because this oh, yeah. seems like this seems like uh, real. The energy is just a, a thick wool blanket over yeah. everything. The that, last straw was in here. I think that's what I think that's, that's what, what we're feeling. We're feeling yeah. Two o'clock in the morning. I, I was I swear I was gonna ask that question. Like, did the was the last, was the final straw mm -hmm. in here? Like I I, sense, I, I feel yeah. I feel just like I feel like this. This is what I'm seeing. I, I see this. There's a sense of just being done. My my body is in yeah. this position, like I'm all yeah. balled up and, and I'm like this. And um it just I keep getting poked. I keep getting poked and touched, poked and touched, poked and like something keeps poking me. The last straw was um a vision of um me stabbing myself. Oh jeez. My daughter. Oh, that's not the kind of poking I was yeah. looking for, but that is that was that, that's why I feel yeah, it, we everywhere. My vision was I was standing at the end of this bed, and I had just stabbed uh, somehow the both of us. But yet I was down, I was standing at the end of the bed. That's, you know, that's a just, horrible vision, and whatever gave you that vision. So that's the thing. Something might have come in and given you that vision, but I don't know that that energy is still here. Still here, right? But what is here is all the memories and the pain and yeah. like the residual energy. Yeah, it is. Residual energy residual. can be very oppressive and and very right. difficult to to manage through because it just until you can clear it out and push it out. You just sit there in this wet wool blanket of cruddy energy. Yeah. 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 And so it's like you you want to just peel those layers off and bring the light back into the space. 
thankfully that is our specialty. Yeah, that's a yep. good thing. <laughs> you know, we're, we're all about bringing the light back into people's Jesus. lives. That's what needs to happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Aww, but you're cute. <laughs> Um, I guess we'll check out the other rooms just to see if there's any vibrations in there that are different than this because this yeah. space is it's off the hook. Yeah. yeah. All right. It's super heavy. This particular space, um, the energy that we were feeling was just this sort of dichotomy between, you know, self doubt and and sort of, oh, I can't do it. Can I do it? What should I do it? Uh, you know, and and trying new things, trying to grow, trying to expand, finding that inner inspiration. And so we had that validated by the client um, that the um, the occupant of this room has enrolled in, in classes. They are trying to get out of their funk and, and get past some of the things that are making them feel like they can't accomplish anything and get that inspiration back. And I actually feel um, the energetic sort of feeling that I'm feeling for that person is they are going to kick some butt. They're going to get hmm. somewhere, actually. Like, there, there's so much intelligence and so much stamina and dedication in this in this individual that if they just peel off a couple of those doubt layers, um, I, I almost see, like, straight A's or, like, A's and a few B's. Like, I see a lot of intelligence and a lot of ability. Um, but it's going to take some patience. There's going to be some moments of frustration of, like, I just want to give up. I just want forget this, this is stupid. There's going to be these moments and as long as everybody works towards the support and getting getting them to move forward um, and sort of a team effort, I see a lot of success. Yeah. It's a good, it's actually good energy in here. I like the energy in here even though there is some, you know, that self-doubt and that kind of human, that human energy. There's so much love and so much beauty in the space too. Searching for searching for meaning, searching soul searching, a lot of soul searching, a lot of um, talking to the angels, talking to like, where do I fit? Who, where do I belong? Um, this, this desire to fit in, the desire to belong and to find find a lane. I need to find my lane. Where's my lane? Um, the word transitional keeps coming up. I'm in, I'm in a transition. I'm in a transition. I'm transitional, is what I keep hearing. And it's a really, um, it's a really, like, it's, we're, we're in, I don't know, it's, this is an interesting energy. It's, it's, um, I, I, where to fit, where to fit, where do I fit? Um, there's, a. this is much nerdier energy, um, but in, but in, a, but in a good way, like, my kind of nerdiness, but it's, but it's, there's an imbalance, there's a, there's some sort of, I don't know, there's, there's like a, a clash of energy. And I, and I don't really know what that means. I don't understand what that means. So if you guys would like to explain it to me now. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Um, okay. this, this used to be, room. yeah, this used oh. to be my son's room. Okay. So maybe I'm dealing with Which two people's energy. Right. <laughs> and my son okay. is a very undecided, undecisive uh, person. He went to the Marines. He wants to be a contractor. He wants to be a firefighter. He wants to be, he wants to be anything and everything. So always transitioning and conflicting. Yes. So, so I'm feeling two humans energies right. in here. Okay. And then yet, and you know oh. what? A lot of his stuff is in here still actually is it oh, okay, okay. Oh. A lot anymore. oh he's gotten a lot of it out um okay. and his then, energy is still here so a good right. smudging will clear his energy right. out of the space he's out sure. in the back now okay That's the one in the back yeah. okay and then she's very set um pretty much she's very but it was okay. funny because she just said that a guy said oh i love you that she was that she's talking to she was like um, seriously, that's not okay. Like, you were catching feelings way too soon. She's a very grounded, <laughs> yeah, focused person. She knows where it's at. So, yeah. good. so that's good. why I feel such a conflicted energy in here, because right. her energy is all centered and great, but his energy is all leached into the all space. All over the place. And it's like yeah, a soup of, my God, too much. Yes, so a good and that was his, this is, was his room for uh, eight years. So. Oh, well, that makes sense then. Yeah. He, his energy is still leached into the walls. Right. So we just need to smudge it to freshen it so she can have the space more yes, hers. hers. Yeah. And you deserve that. It, it, is, it should be your space. You should feel just it's all your space and not feeling so... Um, yeah, other people's energy can make you almost feel just a, like a little like, uh, annoyed. You know, you want it to be yours. But not, not everybody else's. Um... But you're much, your energy is much 
less typical female energy. Mm -hmm. Much less, it's not typical. You're not a typical female energy it's, at all. <laughs> like there's, there's an energy that's very um, tough. Very, very, like, you'd almost do good in the Marines. I can't. She's going, going into the Marines. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Nice. There, well, there we go. Because, like, I see, like, I see your hair all drawn back and yep. pulled, pulled back like this. And she's like, like, you're tough. Like, you're, like, you're super, like, you're super tough. Yeah. She um, is. That's really cool energy. Well, that's validating. That is good validation. Yeah. We are in another room that has been repurposed. Um, it originally obviously was a, a feminine space, a uh, baby space, um, but it is now, uh, dad's room. it's now dad's, uh, their, their, their father. It's his room and basically we picked up on his loner energy and being loving to the family but wanting them all to be quiet. <laughs> and also I started, once I felt the energy on the bed, I felt a lot of low back pain, a lot of uncomfortability and pressure. He's had, um, he needs hip surgery, he's had back surgery, so all of that um, is accurate to the experience that he has. Um, seems like a really cool guy though, you know, just real easy going, but also just very, very much a loner. Um, he'd rather just kind of be out and hanging out and doing things and, and doing other stuff. And I think he actually gets very frustrated by his physical limitation. I think that really, really frustrates him. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it does. Yeah. Very much so. Like he wants to, he'd rather be out, outdoors and doing things. Yeah, because he's and, actually a contractor. Okay. And yeah. so he's mad. Really. It's he, he feels like him inside, but he's trying to still make it work. He's still trying yeah. to do it. Well, tell him just to take his time. That's what I keep be telling patient. him. Be patient. Like, take you your time. a place. Just chill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just take your time. Yeah. Um, and he, but his frustration is pretty palpable in here. He's just like, like, come on, like this yeah. is not this is not me. Like, right. I I need to be doing this. Right. And so, hopefully he'll just listen to you. Yeah. Although he doesn't sound like the nope. type that does. He's not. <laughs> He's he um, real stubborn, stubborn man, and would rather just be, you know, just rather do what he's gonna do. Yeah. Um, but if he just takes a little bit of time and does this a little bit slower, I think he'll have better success. Yeah, yeah, I agree. So, Good. patience. I'm just document the stairs. You know, if I can avoid falling up the stairs while I document, yeah. that would be great. What do. We're four or five micro Teslas on static electricity right now. We're jumping around. So it's a little above background though. Well, we're going up to eights and tens in places. Really? Yeah, they're doing some jumping around. Okay, a lot so on the stairs. A lot of, and that's where we were sensing some yeah. energy. Let's check the bedroom. Anything? Yeah, no, it's jumping around all over the place. Are you kidding me? Again, this is static, not EMF. At the foot of the bed, I'm going up to 15 micro Teslas. In the tri field? Yeah, it's right at the foot of the bed. That's where the uh, static electricity, anyways, is concentrated. And what are you getting on the end of the bed? 15 micro Teslas of static electricity. Great. I'm going to go over to EMF and check that, check on that. Okay. That's baselining. It's not tagging. It's supposed to do that. That's just baselining. All right. Now we'll check it for EMF. So far, just baseline on EMF in here. That's where static electricity gives us a leg up on, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. on EMF because it's more subtle energy that's harder to detect. You need something like the tri-field to detect it or the 360. Why the laundry's giving off EMF, I don't know. <laughs> but Your laundry's giving off EMF. <laughs> I don't understand. Not a lot, just like three micro Teslas. Yeah, it's not even hitting the middle. Yeah. So that's good. It's very strange. Yeah. Very strange. Yeah, the closet was a little weird. Yeah, I am jumping in here. Anything? Yeah, about four micro Teslas in the closet. That's a little above. That, that's EMF. So. EMF in the closet, okay. Well, that's interesting. What are you getting static-wise? Nothing. Huh. It's a dead, the, the closet is a dead zone on static, but giving off four micro Teslas of EMF. Huh. That's very interesting, Bob. <laughs> a lot of static in here, though. Just static all over the place. It's not unusual. And uh, houses with a lot of human energy, you do see that. 
I missed the first really cool proximity here. Yeah, and I'm getting EMF but no static on the trifield to document that, so. Point one over here, so it's lower, it's lower by the, the head of the bed. See, right over the bed we're getting EMF for, mm -hmm. for microteslas. It's not, it's... Ah, uh, hey, hey, hey. Oh, come on, I missed it. Hello? That is active communication. No, I gotta figure this out. Your cell, phone's, your cell phone's on uh, airplane, right? Correct. Okay, good. All devices are on airplane. Okay. I've gotta figure this out. There's something here that's not making sense to me. And I need an answer. I, this almost seems like there should be a scientific reason for this. Well, yeah, the room hits are proximity, so. It's point eight, point nine. Why? Is that, that doesn't make and any sense. And, I'm, and I was able to validate that with the tri field as well. You're doing milligas and I'm doing microteslas, which are the conversion factor of the same thing. It won't focus on the tri field now, well. I couldn't get it to focus on the tri field because it's getting facial recognition on where you had the millimeter. I'll have to refocus on your face so it'll stop doing that there. That's crazy. What is going on in here? This is bizarre. I did not anticipate this. So I got a lot of static coming into the room, but over the bed there's no static, and over the bed there's a... Uh... She's like, okay, I'm not sleeping in that bed now. 1.1. 1.2. And it's not going down when you take the cell phone away from it. You do have it on airplane mode. It's right next to it. It's not changing it. It's not affecting it at all. Same readings, basically. Yeah. And the temp sensor's also going in. Explain the proximity hit. Right. It's staying between 0.7 to 1.0. That's... Yeah. It's very consistent. Now we're getting temperature hits. Would be setting it off like no, the time. T and I checked the TV. The TV wasn't giving off. I mean, it's in the center of her bed. Yeah, the TV was like 1.5 microteslas right up on it, so that's not even. Is there a, a Wi-Fi router in the room? No. Okay. There's not. Okay, that's good to know. That's in my room. Okay. Yeah, we wouldn't be getting those kind of readings right there. And she said that um, the baby will walk into the closet every once in a while and say hi to somebody. Oh, Jesus. Isn't that nice? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna baseline these. I wanna, I wanna walk through these again. Wow. Got it. That was interesting. Just because it's going off doesn't mean, you're, especially with static, doesn't mean that it's sentient. Yeah. Could very well be residual. The facial recognition on the stairs beside you. Great. Oh, I got a lock too. What about your left foot? Huh. Alright, I think I'll try that so Okay. Because it was her at first. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it, was... it could, could very well be a mismap. Well, I, would, I, I wouldn't take that. But now you got two of them. No. Cat, get in your room. It's right next to her. Ooh, get her oh, away. Shit. But now it's gone. Like, like here? See, you're good at setting your bubble because as soon as you said that, yeah. it went right. away. So that's good. You did a good job. Because we're going to bless the house pretty quick here. You're going to make my job impossible. Well, I'm trying to sneak up on them. <laughs> Nothing. Only light. light is permitted here. Only love is permitted here. Nothing negative may harm or touch this family. From this point forward, only love and light is welcome in this space.